All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video. I'm back with, uh, well, this time a sealed to revealed. A few things that I've had on order uh, that have either taken a while to arrive or have just arrived. Uh, the one that's taken a while to arrive is certainly uh, Rolling Stones. This is the Amazon uh, version of the Rolling Stones uh, Hackney Diamonds. And so uh, I'd ordered this quite some time ago. And so it has finally arrived. So let's do a sealed to revealed on this. And this is green vinyl. So this is one of the variations on the cover. And uh, despite what's all been said about the cover, a lot of people don't really like the design of the cover. Uh, and then there's also the baseball uh, versions of this cover. I think of all of the variations on the cover, I think I like this one the best for whatever reason, uh, if I had to choose uh, all of them. So this is the uh, Amazon uh, exclusive one, uh, basically just meaning uh, green vinyl. Um, and I haven't had a chance actually to listen to all of it. I was kind of waiting for the album to arrive. Of course, I've heard uh, the song Angry uh, that came out, and I think it's terrific. I really have enjoyed what I've heard so far. I know some people don't uh, care for it, but I think Angry is terrific. Uh, Sweet Sounds of Heaven with Lady Gaga, I think, is absolutely terrific. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to uh, getting into this uh, and enjoying. So there's no hype stickers or anything like that. Uh, let's take a look inside. And take a look at the green vinyl. So let's uh, open her up here. Okay. I'm just going to take that shrink right off here. All right. So there we go. And it's a nice, nice glossy finish on here. And there's no uh, extra tracks or bonus tracks on this. And then it opens up like that. I do uh, agree that this is kind of, in terms of a gatefold, a little disappointing just to have this. I would have much preferred uh, a picture of the band uh, that would have been really nice uh, on the inside, uh, personally. Okay, and then it opens up like this. Okay, it does have a little booklet, uh, which is kind of neat. Oh, not, it's not a booklet. Oh, I'm sorry. They have this. They have the sleeve here, and then they have this uh, in polyline. That's pretty nice. Okay, I was not expecting that. Yeah, so that's quite simply the uh, inner sleeve uh, separated from the uh, polyline uh, sleeve, which is a nice little touch. And here we have the pretty straightforward green vinyl. And like that, and like that. Okay, there you have it, Rolling Stones, Hackney Diamond. Now, whether this is actually going to be the last Rolling Stones album or not, it does kind of have that feel like it's the last Rolling Stones album, uh, especially ending with Rolling Stone Blues, the Muddy Waters tune, and then having, you know, Bill Wyman on here. But, I mean, there's, there's news that they have uh, some tracks already uh, recorded for the next album, so, I mean, it's hard to say at this point. But this one does have a feel like it's possibly their last album, but we shall see. So finally going to get a chance to listen to the whole album, uh, Rolling Stones. And I've also ordered the uh, latest uh, Steve Hackett album. This is Steve Hackett, Foxtrot at 50 and Hackett Highlights, live in Brighton. So this is obviously, as you can see, the uh, vinyl uh, edition. Well, it's kind of interesting uh, for this that this is out already, but uh, Steve Hackett is still very much well underway uh, with this tour. This tour is still still happening. And uh, this is the uh, the four LP set. So it's a, and it looks like it's a nice little sort of slip case here. So here's the uh, cover, sorry for the glare. And nice little hype sticker on the corner there. Uh, limited edition 180 gram 4 LP box. Steve Hackett and band celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Genesis classic Foxtrot. And a cut at uh, Sterling Sound. And of course he does have another number of Steve Hackett uh, tracks. And then looks pretty much like uh, Foxtrot on LP3. Uh, that carries over to LP4, and then wrapping it up with uh, encores of Firth of Fifth and Los Endos. So 50 years after the event, the first time around, I started playing the role of Foxtrot, or I started playing the whole of Foxtrot in its entirety with my own band in 2022. The album had never been played live in its complete form by the Genesis team, but 1972 was nonetheless an extraordinary year for us. Uh, with an increasing number of shows. Respectively, or retrospectively, I feel the album was a tour de force with not one filler tr with not one filler track. It's all tough stuff. The breadth of the material was vast. The influence were a pan-genre from a lineup of fledgling songwriters 
With one important difference from many other bands, everyone in the group was a writer. Sci-fi, nostalgia, social comment, and pantomime, in other words, storytelling often in syncopated soundtrack style, characterized the shared approach. And he goes on to say, John Lennon was later quoted in an interview to say he considered Genesis to be true sons of the Beatles. From the very first note of the Mellotron introduction, I personally get that indescribable feeling at the back of my neck. It had an alchemy all its own. I was so proud of it then and just as proud of it now. There you have it. Wow. All right, so there's the uh, track listing there. Oh, sorry for the glare. So we got uh, intro, Ace of Wands, Devil's Cathedral, Spectral Mornings Every Day, A Tower Struck Down, Basic Instincts, uh, Camino Royale, Shadow of the Hierophant, and then on and on. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the vinyl. I think I might see if I can leave the shrink on this since this is a kind of a slip case here. Again, sorry for the glare from the shrink there. Okay. Okay. But yeah, unfortunately I haven't seen this tour. I have seen Steve uh, Hackett uh, perform uh, with uh, Selling England, but uh, boy, this would have been nice when he was uh, in Toronto. And there we have all the vinyl here. Very nice. Okay. And these are not polyline, but they're thick cardboard. Okay. And pretty straightforward on the uh, labels there. So I guess in, in terms of instead of having a booklet, it's kind of a you know photos and information on the uh, on the sleeves there. So that's that one. Then we carry on with second LP, and I think it's going to be pretty much straightforward with the labeling. Not too ex nothing too exciting to show there. And then we have, and there's the band. Currently with, I think, a lot of the familiar faces. Okay. And from what I understand, this has been just a fantastic show from some of the online reviews and uh, people in the vinyl community that have seen the uh, show. Seem to be getting terrific reviews. Okay. Okay, and there you go. And there is that. So there's the four LP set uh, for Steve Hackett. And because I am such a Steve Hackett fan, I did pick up the uh, CD. I decided to go with the CD slash DVD because uh, there's four discs in total. I believe this is also available on CD and Blu-ray, which would be three discs. But for the they have the DVD, which has the whole concert, and then DVD 2, which is behind the scenes documentary, and then CD 1 and CD 2. So pretty much the same stuff. Uh, here in terms of, but of course, in, include 5.1 surround sound, includes bonus behind the scenes interviews, and that's got all this stuff uh, for the ratings. And then a, a little, I guess you have to be 12 and older uh, to watch it because of drug references containing flickering or flashing lights, uh, just so you're warned about that. Okay, and this, this looks very much sort of, sort of like a slipcase uh, kind of thing, I think, uh, going on. But uh, let's open it up and take a look inside. Yeah, and I still just like the also having the CDs because they do have a lot of Steve Hackett CDs, especially uh, his live stuff slash live Genesis stuff. So it's just kind of nice to have this on CD as well. Okay, so I think we've got that sort of outer case that and then, yeah, there we go. And so you don't always have to be, be looking at these uh, sort of stickers. That, and these don't come off. This is right, like right on the case here. So then you have this instead, which is kind of nice. And then you have, of course, the track listing. And then hopefully nothing will be popping out here like this. And then like that. And like that. And we'll take a look at, obviously, some of the photos behind right here. So we've got DVD 1. And the DVD too. And certainly for these Hackett releases, they always give you like lots of material and lots of stuff on the video DVD kind of thing. CD one and then CD 
too. So it's interesting. I think you obviously get a lot more uh, interesting uh, uh, photos uh, on the vinyl version for sure. So because here's what we have in the background here. Sorry for the glare again. But you get a lot more like group shots or shots, individual shots of the band members than you certainly get with anything here in the on the DVD version for the CD DVD version. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, going to do it for this one. Thanks so much uh, for dropping by and uh, we'll chat again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.